Prince song. Ow! Love that song. We're back at it. What are we doing today? We're just gonna redo my valve cover and oh. paint my uh, intake manifold. Intake manifold. Magic. Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah, because that's filthy as fuck. That's uh, filthy as fuck. No, no, I think you can use a screwdriver right there. Yes. All right, so this is gonna be the quick version of how you take off your uh, intake manifold, because I believe I might have done a video on this before, but... Uh, but this is a 1.8, so it might be slightly different. Slightly different, if so... If there's any difference that we see, then... We'll make note. We will let you know. So, snorkel has to come off. Um, eventually, the uh, throttle body's gonna come off. You have to take all this and fuel rail stuff anything, off. This is not a how-to video. This not is a how-to. This is just goofing around. Uh, yeah, so all this middle stuff has to come off. Fuel rail comes off. And then there's like six or eight or 12 or 40 bolts uh, holding on the uh, intake manifold, the valve cover. You going to do that first, I guess? Yeah, it's right. the easiest job. It is. <laughs> it looks like an easy job. Looks like you're having an easy time with it. <laughs> I pulled myself. I saw that. Power tools. You have the power. You know what? Shenanigans. There's shenanigans going on. Are you gonna use the, the stick? Yeah, no, this... What the hell did you just do? Shenanigans. I heard electrical shocking? No. Oh, just dropping of... Yeah, dropping of shit. Dropping of shit. that's what I do. Okay. It's a plastic piece. Shit, where'd it go? You just blew off the... You blew off the straw? I'll buy more. Ow! I, I'm, I'm bleeding again. Do you want to take your breather off? No. Okay. It was a joke. Okay. Well, he cross-threaded his oil cap on. Only Angel could do that. Yes, that's right. So, here's what we're doing. He is going to repaint this. He's gonna take off all that paint nice. with that thing. Like, no blood? Blood! All right, so since Angel's over there being intimate with a drill, and Neil's over there being intimate with his door, I'm gonna get started on taking off this uh, intake manifold. So there's a bunch of electrical connections. Um, there are a bunch of uh, uh, vacuum hoses. I have taken pictures of pretty much everything to make sure that I don't forget where everything goes. And uh, I'm just gonna get started. Do, 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 do. Okay, six seconds, you get six seconds. We're this far on the manifold removal. Neil has taken off the throttle body because I don't feel like removing the water lines from that. And then I think we're ready to take off uh, the several bolts on there and then just sort of whoop, scoop was, it out. I was trying to look at that. Right, because do we, are you saying we don't need to take Ooh, the fuel rail off now? Thanks. No, we don't. Okay. There's no reason to. Because we can somehow get to all those uh, bolts in there. Yeah, you, you I mean. I, I had, I did when I, I did mine. I would rather it be done professionally. So if we could just well, you back together. have hired the wrong people. Well, okay. So first of all, taking off the fuel rail is three bolts. Yeah, I see them there. One, two, three. So. But you also have to take off the fuel pressure regulator, which is right here. No, it's on the fuel rail. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. But oh yeah, that's connected to that. Um. It's just a vacuum. Just pull this off. Yeah. <laughs> But do we have come to? On, I come on, come on, Greg. Don't be a cook. Stop being a cook. There are holes. I don't even see your fucking bolts. Where are your bolts? Oh, I right? see them there. One, okay. two, three. That's gotcha. it. No, not those. The manifold bolts. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I had to go four, like this to see them because the fuel, bitch. the fuel rail was in the way, Cunt. Neil. The fuel rail was in my way. Go. Said shake vigorously. Fucking die. <laughs> I'm not even lying. It says shake can vigorously. Of course it does. One full. Recording out? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why? Use the big, use the red pliers right there to grab it. Um, go, go all the way in. There we go. Unless you pull the return line. No, there, there's fuel coming out of there. Okay, good. Quick pro tip. Okay. If you're gonna do anything with your fuel system, pull that uh, yeah, but see, relay. Yeah, the thing is that Angel wasn't. Start the car. He wasn't. Let expecting. it die. 
kill the pressure no, in the I fuel didn't lines. No, Greg said he's done this before because Greg's a fucking mechanic. Yeah, well, I forgot <laughs> that um, fuel rail. Hey, Seuss, you're, you're plugging the wrong fucking hole. I didn't have any gas. Oh, I am? You're plugging the wrong <laughs> I'm waiting for him okay. to do something. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, then. How am I going to plug that with this? Well, would that work? You guys are all retards. I have to save you guys. How's it going? It's not going at all. This is done. What? This is done. Ready to drop in. It's a fuel pump. What's that? Uh, the thing that filters shit out, like little spectacles of shit in your fuel. So you have a fuel filter and a fuel filter? Yes. Okay. Isn't it? No, it's an EGR. Yeah, it's like a, it's a metal. Oh, stuff. that thing. Yeah, and then here's a EGR gasket as well. Um, but you also do have to take off. Oh, nope, it's already off. Never mind. And then the last part of it. <laughs> he did say it did say shake very vigorous vigorously. Videos. And then it says wait two hours for it to dry, and the the wrinkle won't appear in something. It says. Okay. But did you do the cross hatch pattern? Of course I did. Okay. Might have been. There's still fucking nut on there. I'm gonna be so fucking mad. There's not. There's only four on the bottom. It wouldn't be that of those if there was something else. No, there's still a nut on there, guys. No. I can feel the nut. There might be a nut, but that's not holding it on. No, I'm just kidding. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure the EGR, you have yeah, to push EGR. it that way first. Out of the bolts. You know what I'm saying? What the hell? How is that going to work? <clears throat> the EGR is hard lined, right? It's a hard fucking tube. How the fuck am I going to do that? I mean, if it breaks, I don't really care. No, you do. Why? You kind of want an EGR. Why? I don't know. I'm just assuming. I'm just going to redo it by myself in my house. Did you fix it? No. I fucking ruined it. But that's himself. Oh. It looks like somebody put out a cigar on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't care. All right. I do, but... Well, the important thing is you painted the other... Ooh, you painted the other things. And they look good. No. No, the intake manifold looks good. Awesome. And here's a heat shield. Looking pretty fly. Look, Angel's working on his car. You know what, Greg? What? <laughs> We're so most, so most done? We're so most done. This job took a longer than should. Yeah. Every job takes longer than it should have. And we only have two extra nuts. I wonder if one of those... No, would... those go... Wherever. They're we probably got, we okay. Got the job nuts. It's probably okay. Good job. You did it. Or didn't do it. Go. Damn it. We didn't fix your belt problem. Hey, it works! We did it! Holy crap, I lost the lot. Alright, we're done with this project. Angel is happy again. He's not gonna... We're not gonna lose him in the middle of the night now. Because his car works, and uh, he's pretty proud of himself because we did a major job. Yeah, I might have to... It's gonna take a while for me to, to get used to that because it's so dark. Yeah, I know. It looks good, though. Yeah. It's fucking sexual. No. <laughs> you you want to make everything sexual. It's, it's not. All right. Until something actually fucks up on my car. All right. So we're really done. So thanks for watching this shit show, and I'll uh, see you on the next shit show. Bye. Damn it. So it's the next day, and um, we thought everything was okay when Angel drove away. It's not okay. Uh, apparently a couple of his injectors are leaking. Extremely luckily, I have, a long time ago, I bought some O-ring um, gaskets. So we're gonna probably need to use those. Can't even drive his car, so that's super convenient. I hope that's the only problem, because he drove it away, it was fine. Kids, don't do stuff you don't have to do to your cars. I mean, open this. I'll show you exactly what it does, you can see it. Wow, there's a puddle of uh, fluid in there. Is there really? Yeah.
All right, stop. Two of them are leaking. I don't know why the starter won't rotate the engine though. Uh, your battery's probably dead. Yeah, I don't know why that particular tube is so rigid. All right, so we're... could be the original tube, too. Probably is. We're taking off the fuel rail. We're probably going to lose the spacers, but we'll find them. And then uh, fuel is going to be leaking all over the place because... Reasons. And then we're going to change all the O-rings on the injectors, and then everything's going to be fine. A lot of work that we have to do. So this, whoops, how about some light on it? This is the problem here. That uh, right there? Yeah. Um, Angel gave it too much of the shocker and uh, just tore the O-ring out. I was running too much power and the seals blew right out. That's what happened. So we have to replace those and stick them back in, start them up somehow, and then go. What did you do? This. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, but it, the it should PCV be. valve and, and hose sucks every single time. It just sucks. So go ahead and, and like try to start it, like turn it so the fuel pump goes a couple times, and I'll let you know if there's any fuel spewing out of here. You don't actually have to start it to, to know if it's gonna leak or not. Yeah. I'm gonna start it now. Huh. Huh. No leaks. Why do you have no starto? All right, so we fixed we fixed Angel's car. We replaced all of the O-rings on the uh, injectors. So I suggest any time that you're going to do injector work, um, removing the fuel rail or whatever you need to do, go ahead and buy yourself the. Uh, the o-rings because chances are you're going to need them we also discovered that if you're going to pull the relay that controls the fuel pressure the fuel pump um when you're all done you really want to put that back in um that was a situation that we had to diagnose and we felt like giant idiots once we Literally, we both figured it out at the exact same time. Okay, so that is it. He now has a painted everything, I guess. And there you have it. So, done with that service. Uh, I am very, very close to closing my garage for good. I'm so sick of working on cars. I'll probably get over it in a week. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.